Hey guys, this is Adrian7, and I'm bringing you the finals of the Agecraft Open number one. Our two finalists, Naruto as the Orange Zerg and Brian Jacko. Hopefully I said it right this time, sorry. Uh, I think I said it wrong in my other videos, but he is playing the Orange, or, the Purple Terran. Uh, two good players here in the finals. Um, the finals went actually pretty smoothly. Um... A lot of players didn't show, but I had good organizational skills, and I organized the games, and everyone played their games. And hopefully we can do this again, except with a lot more people and uh, a prize. So, let's see how this game is going here. Now, um, checking both players, Naruto is just going a very standard Zerg build, just making drones in the beginning. Same thing with Brian Jacko. But Naruto comes here and harasses this little... Uh, SCV here just being a total a-hole. Well, not really. Um, I'm gonna bleep that out or something. I don't know. But no, he's just being or uh, harassing this one SCV. But I guess Brian Jacko uses that SCV to scout while this one builds his supply depot that wasn't finished build it, build, uh, built yet. So here we go. Three uh, drones coming out. Just going a very economical build. Doesn't seem to be going like a six pool or anything. Uh, Brian Jacko just making SCVs too. Just was a little supply cap there because of that little drone harass there. So Brian Jacko coming in here for a little view. Doesn't see anything funny. No spawning pools in any places. Just very standard for Brian, uh, Brian Jacko here building up barracks. And this little SCV drone fight going on. Who's going to win this? Putting up the health bars. See, uh, the health bars. Seems like Naruto is going to lose that one. And uh, but he doesn't lose the drone, which is pretty good. Um, building another supply depot for Brian Jacko, but here we go. There's a spawning pool and an extractor for Naruto. This is a very good play uh, or very good standard. Uh, getting that spawning pool for Zergling speed if you want to. So and this Overlord coming into a scout over here. Uh, won't see anything interesting. No hidden barracks with Reapers or anything. Uh, just Brian Jacko just making Marines. From his barracks, not going into orbital command just yet. Or oh, there we go. There's the orbital command. I just called that. And the Vesping, uh, no refineries going up at all. So it doesn't seem like there's going to be any Reaper harass or uh, early Marauders or anything, any early siege or mech play. So there we go. Spawning pool is up. Naruto is. Ma uh, let's go to the production tab. That's much easier. So it's six Zerglings in production and a queen for Naruto right now. Seems like he's going to go for some very early. Uh, attack here. Uh, just uh, Marines and uh, SCVs being made for uh, Brian Jacko right at the moment. Uh, Overlords just going everywhere to scout. Uh, fully saturating that one extractor there and putting up a Baneling Nest. Ooh, we could see a Baneling Bust coming up soon because this wall off it here uh, is going to be very hard for the Zerg to bust through because of these marines in this pl uh, in these places. Uh, is it possible? Yeah, he could probably bust in through the back, which I would probably do. It's a better idea. He's got this overlord here to scout to see if he has any bunkers there, but he doesn't at all. So Zerglings just run by, getting a lot of damage on some of them. Just eight, Some have... One have, what has like 8 life, but uh, no... Uh, not a lot of damage, but here's more Zerglings coming up, uh, so it's going to be very hard to even get through there if he even tries. Another command center being made for Brian Jacko. Seems like he's going to go for an early expansion and two Raxes coming up. So we're going to probably see some nice MM, Marauder, and Marine. And these Bane this Baning Nest is finished with Zergling Speed coming up for Naruto. He's just uh, 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 saturating his hatchery with uh, those larvae. And here we go, just these 20 Zerglings here. There's it's probably going to be a Baneling bus, going to be morphing those Zerglings into Banelings uh, soon. He's got the resources, he can make a whole bunch. But adding a reactor onto this barracks, which is I found pretty good, because you can make some Marines from here and attach tech reactors to all these. But here we go, three racks is coming up. This is going to be a very heavy MM play, if, uh, maybe if he gets some a starport, but it doesn't seem he's getting a reactor, so I doubt he's getting a starport. But this one going, uh, he's morphing that into uh, Orbital Command right away. He's probably going to take this expansion pretty quickly, which is very good. Uh, Zerg player taking an expansion of his own, which is good. Uh, very nice to get that early expansion up. But uh-oh, seems like Brian Jagger is going to try and place his command center there with those Banelings. But it seems like the Banelings instead go for uh, a bust there, blow up, blowing up one Supply Depot. This Supply Depot is going to go down because of the fire, but... Uh, Naruto go, going straight for the command center. Command center lifts up. 
Very good play here by Naruto. Busts in, get these Zerglings on the surround, but very nice micro from Brian Jacko getting those Marines out of there, but it doesn't seem like it'll be enough. Wow, four Zerglings left in there against one Marauder. Marauder's gonna go down. Do we have any more units coming up? Yeah, we've got six speed links coming up from uh, Naruto. This doesn't look good at all for Brian Jacko. SCV's going down, but he's making a ton of use right now. He's got a reactor on that barracks, so it's gonna get a bunch of Marines. So I think he'll be able to defend this, but this these speed links coming in here from the uh, front is not good at all. Very early pressure from Naruto. But he's trying to get some nice micro there, moving that one while the other Marines shoot. I love doing that. It's very good micro. But there you go. Those Zerglings run away since Brian Jacko can quickly, uh, with these four racks, just make pump out units. So a good idea for the Zerg player. Um, if He did see those four racks, so I, I would definitely go further into Banelings, which, is, uh, which seems like what he's doing. But this Orbital Command going down with these Banelings right outside this is not a good idea. It's, I would move my uh, troops out there and see if I could defend it, but it's very hard because your Zer those Zerglings can get us around. But here, the Banelings going straight for the SCVs, but no SCVs run away. Luckily, Brian Jacko saw that. It's very good, but more links coming up and any more tech coming up no just an evolution chamber nothing being produced but he's got three drones sitting around he should be saturating this natural getting constant drones is very good for zerg oh i missed some damage oh, i'm gonna speed uh make that go back sorry that was my bad there but here he goes zerglings getting this around scv's coming in to attack too but these banelings coming in doing a lot of damage to both players but it doesn't seem to take out all, uh, it takes out a whole bunch from both sides, but Brian Jacko has enough to defend that. So it's really, really well defended, but still is a good attack also. But a lot of SCVs were lost there. Can, I, I just want to see how many units were lost. Uh, ye, more on Naruto's side uh, were lost, but more speed links coming up here. Uh, does it say what types of units were lost? No. So looking at the income right now, uh, Brian Jacko is ahead because of those mules. But, yeah, that, uh, but they have the equal amount of harvesters. Yes, those mules do so much. They take so many minerals, and they're just amazing. So, Brian Jacko, or Naruto here, should be saturating this expansion. This uh, looks like it could use a couple more drones, actually. And making a Roach Horn, which is a good idea against these kind of, this kind of play. Uh, yeah, there aren't many units that can really counter MMM effectively right now for the Zerg player, but I would suggest just going more into Ling Baneling because if he's grouping these units into these big balls, if you can micro your units correctly, you could do some terrible, terrible damage. Uh, so um, the Zerg player should look into doing that, these two pairs of overlords here. I would suggest going in from the back because this is so heavily defended, just getting in there. If you could get a couple Zerglings in there, you could take out a whole bunch of SCVs by the time these guys arrive. Is Stim researched by, uh, no, uh, Concussive Shell being researched right now, and Stim. So still no Stim, so those uh, Marine Marauders aren't going to get there very fast. Uh, yeah, Brian Jacko doing a very good job spending his minerals, and uh, we just have this one spine crawler here just in case of a counterattack. I guess that's what Naruto was expecting. That's why he's not staying on the offensive. But researching ground one, Carapace uh, getting some good tech for his units. Uh, is is there? Okay, just finally now taking the second extractor and these two extractors too. So it seems like he's going to go into very um, high tech build now. Maybe Mutas, uh, Hydras. I, I doubt hy Hydras though. Mutas too. Uh, if you go Mutaling, uh, I think he should be fine. But Baneling still could take out these huge clumps of units, but the f but you need to have that Baneling speed. Yeah, he doesn't have that Baneling speed researched. He definitely needs that if he wants to catch up to those units, but they already have stim packs, so they can just stim and run away. Or stim one and suicide. And I've seen some very good micro, actually. I've been watching the Intel Extreme Masters, and uh, I forgot who the player was. I think it was... No, it was, it was the game before Demuslim and Idra. Um, geez. I think it was... Mm, no, I can't remember. But it was really good Terran player versus Protoss. I forgot who it was. And he would just stim one Marauder, run him up, y use the concussive shell on w one of the units, and just his units would slowly catch up to it because they're probably they're going like the same speed, or if not faster, and would take that unit out, which is very smart instead of... Stimming all your units and making them lose their health, but here we go. Brian Jacko looking 
to go for a huge push right now. It doesn't seem like Naruto has the units right now. He only has a bunch of links. Banelings would be perfect right now. Or even Banelings Brood. But there we go. There goes the stem. Very good micro. Moving those units around. But seems like this huge MM ball is just going to rip through Naruto's army right now. Doesn't look very good for Naruto. Doesn't seem like he's making any... Other units instead of, or he does have a Hydra Den up, so he could get some Hydralis and Zerglings there. But this expansion goes down. Uh, Brian Jacko doesn't seem to be taking up to anything else, and uh, just is Marine and Marauders. But they do have, they don't have, uh, they're all at like 50% health because of those stims. So if Naruto can get some nice Bailings there, okay, good, good, good. Morphing those Bailings. Ah, can he get those Bailings out before these guys catch him? No, uh, he saw those Banelings, so he's moving around and getting this Hydra then, sniping it down. Very good job there. And now going for the Roach War. Now uh, Naruto's only stuck at Zerglings and Banelings, but there goes the Banelings from the side. Ah, beautiful micro. Oh, no. Terrible damage. Half, well, like a quarter of Brian Jacko's Marine Marauder army goes down, but here comes the Hydralis, not doing as much damage. But if he had a couple Lings in there, he could have probably taken out this army, but bad thing is Brian Jacko can easily recoup his losses but there you go four more racks is going up he should build another command center instead of four racks he's fine now Naruto doesn't seem to have any more expansions but look at this very nice surround on this these marauders those marauders go down uh, doesn't look good with this huge clump from Brian Jacko coming up to Naruto and yeah uh, Naruto trying to go for a counterattack no denied by Brian Jacko but there's a good game Good game between these two players, a good TVZ game. And now we're going into uh, game two for the finals. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.